Hi, in this video, we'll see how to create different types of maps. In the previous video, we have seen how to create state-wise sales, state-wise profit, uh, maps with different circles, maps with different shapes. But in this video, I'll help you to work with the map options. If you see, that's a sheet which is created. What are the map options? That's the first thing. So if I just keep my cursor anywhere in the maps, if you see, these are the options which are selected. That is nothing but search, zoom in, zoom out, pin button and some more options. So what exactly it says is if I just click on this unpin button, it comes to the original place. If I again double click on any place, it has been zoom out. So if I just click on this remove pin, it will come out. If I click on this Washington, if you see Washington has been maximized. If I don't want to zoom in, I'll just click on this unpin button and it will come back to the original place. Same way, if I select as Montana, it has expanded that. If I say unpin it, it will come back to the original position. Now suppose I remember the name of the city or name of the place and I want to search it. I can just simply click on this place and I can just type the name of the city, whichever you have, whichever you remember. Suppose if I search for, let's say as Florida, I'll type here as Florida from this place and I'll press enter. And if you see the Florida's place has been expanded, it has been zoom out. Same way, if you want to search some other places, you can just simply click on this place and you can just search for California enter and if you see the California area has been expanded and you can easily find out now if you want to go back to the original position you can just simply click on this unpin button that is very simple and easy method the another method is if you want to zoom out and zoom in you can use this plus and minus button if you see if I click on this plus it is zooming in again like this and I can properly see what is going on in this place if I have some colored options I can still see that again if you want to go zoom out you can just use this option it will go inside and if I say as unpin button, it will come back to the original place. There are a few more options which are hidden at the back end in this place. It says if you want to move this graph for, from one place to another place, I can select this second option like this one. So now I can just move the graph and I can show you what is happening all the places. Like in Canada, what is happening in the other regions, what is happening. So I'll just unpin the button again, it will come back. So if you want to move your chart or you, if you want to move your graph, that is a map, you can just use the second option and it is very easy. Sometimes if you want to select more than one places, if you want to combine into a group, you can use the last three options. If you see that is nothing but rectangular shape selection, circle selection and free selection. If I select the, uh, this one square rectangle which is given here and if I say if I want to select this four regions, I have selected that and I can just analyze the data easily with the help of this one. Sum of profit in all the region is this much. If I want to keep only, if I want to exclude and if I want to group it, I can use it the options, right? Same way, if I want to select the options, I can select like this. These are the regions. What is the profit? Sum of profit is total is this much, which is given at this place. I'll just simply click outside. Now, sometimes if you have, if you don't want to select in the form of a square or rectangle, you can select this option as circle in this place and then you can keep on selecting whatever regions falls in that circle, those would be selected and you can understand the profit in that selected regions is this much. Same way profit in this region is how much the profit is given at this much. Now this is again customized what you can say it is you know defined predefined square and circle. Sometimes you want to select by your own some regions. So you can select the last option from this place and then you can say I want to select this areas like this and sum of all these areas is how much sum of profit it is 65906. Same way if you want to see only this areas which I'll select here now like this. So sum of profit in this selected areas is this much. So that is nothing but a free hand selection which is given right. Now sometimes if this map options get uh, gets hidden what how do you bring it back. So if it is get hidden there's one option where you can bring back. So I can go to this map like this I can select as map options and if you see these are the options which are given here. So sometimes if you want to enable or disable this options you can choose these options allow pan zoom and pan and zoom you can select this one like this show map search the map search options has gone away same way view toolbar the view toolbar has been gone away so you can just keep on selecting the options whichever you need from this place right so this is one method so how you can bring out this you have to go to the maps menu bar and select this option as map options and you can work with it so i hope you're able to understand the different things related to the map option that's all for this video